my name is Xavier Varnes. Uh, I was born in Hungary, in Europe, and uh, I first came to Canada when I was 15. My family arrived to Toronto, and I became citizen uh, sometimes in the 80s. Xavier Varnas is one of the world's greats. We're in Brooklyn, not the one outside of New York, but the other one, beside Liverpool. We are here in the most beautiful garden of uh, Canada, in Nova Scotia. And I somehow I found this place and I said, okay, this was my dream from my childhood to have my own beautiful church with a beautiful organ. Varnas was originally looking for a church to buy close to Toronto until he stumbled on the old First Baptist Church built back in 1847. He fell in love with it instantly, partly because of the ceiling. I chose this because of the ceiling. The ceiling is the most unique thing. It's uh, much more different than any other Protestant church here in Canada. Uh, the ceiling is like, uh, I don't know, it's a very rare, very unique thing. Now the church didn't come with an organ. He bought and moved this 3,000 pipe organ from Truro. This church never had any kind of organ before, just a small electrical organ. And I found, uh, found a beautiful concert instrument in Truro. All the 3,000 pipes, actually the biggest pipe is uh, almost seven meters and the smallest is just three millimeters. So it's an amazing instrument. Since I have this church, I get so many letters from different organists uh, uh, from the world and they always said, oh, uh, my dream become true in your life because they said, my dream was a church with a big organ without any minister or priest. He has played the finest cathedrals around the world. His YouTube channel has millions of views. His plans for his Brooklyn church post-pandemic? I want to create this church as the center of the organ world. Uh, my dream is something like that. I already invited many of the great organists of the world. So after COVID, all the actual great organists of the 21st century were coming here and play on this organ. Now it turns out the joy of owning your own church when you're an organist, it comes with perks. Because usually when you, you're playing on the organ, that means that you have to go to some church. So before you go there, you have to take a shower, then after you have to rest yourself, you have to take your car, you have to go there, you have to talk to the priest, you have to get the key, and then after you can play the organ. Now this place is quite unique because on the morning, when I uh, just waking up, I came out from my bed, I'm making my coffee, and I'm still in pyjama, uh, I am coming here and I'm playing the organ. So it's quite unique because I never had this combination in my life before, at organ, Bach, and pyjama. <laughs> After being vacant for a while, there's now new life and an old sound and an old soul echoing from these walls. Colleen Jones, CBC News, Brooklyn.